Chris Jericho could be leaving All Elite Wrestling in 2025 as his AEW deal is set to expire. Trevor, 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 I got to hear from you. We don't know what the status is. Ibu of Wrestle Purists is the one who kind of broke this story and, and said that as of right now, there's no injury time that's set to be added on. There's no other extra time. 2025, at some point, his contract will expire. I'm just going to ask you straight up. Should AEW re-sign Chris Jericho? I will answer that with a question. Mm. <laughs> Do we care? I will answer that with the question. Do you care? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, before I, I give an actual, actual honest to God answer, I will say this. What Jericho has done for AEW has been pretty, I mean, pretty phenomenal. He's, he's, he's uh, done the Jericho cruise line, but when he's had, Wrestlers from different promotions, even especially AEW, on the show. Like he's done great things with wrestling and for wrestling. Like Jericho will go down in history as being one of the uh, pillars, so to speak, of AEW that helped launch AEW into the stratosphere. And I mean, he's just going to go down in history for being a great wrestler in general for wrestling all the major promotions. Wrestling, excuse me. Plenty of decades. Look, his career has gotten better as he got older. Like, I mean, he's gotten a little, a little sloppy. He's, he did lose the weight and got back. And he's up and down, whatever. But yeah. he has done some some incredible things. With that being said, mm. his run in AEW has been good at times. Mm-hmm. At times, completely unwatchable. He is on his 18th, uh, well, 18th uh, group. <laughs> this, this is probably the, the Jer Jericho learning tree, and it's probably the worst one possible. <laughs> do they do they need to sign him? It's great to have someone like him with that mind in the in the locker room, but he doesn't need to be an active wrestler. I hear you, and I pretty much agree with you. Um, look, I think you know, like there's obviously like a, a, a ton of baggage on Jericho for various reasons. Um, that you know, I think have turned a lot of people off uh, from him. Um, both like political, some of the you know backstage stuff that he allegedly uh, did. And, you know, it, it's one of those things like, you know, like that stuff matters. And if that does, then I mean, like even take the politics out. Let's just talk about the pack of backstage stuff because politics are what they are. You know, that that's shouldn't have like really any sway on someone's ability to keep a job um, or not. But the backstage stuff does kind of matter because, like, you know, on one hand, Chris Jericho is a backstage leader in AEW and he is a locker room leader. He's been there since the beginning, 35 years of experience. Then you have like stuff that again the story that broke last um, December, um, which it was not a good look. <laughs> the best case, that's the best way I can put it. But yeah. I do think like you know one of like the problems as far as the character that goes uh, with Jericho, I think people just find him stale as a character too. Yeah, me too. And one of the things like right if we just want to put that in a vacuum for a sec. One of the things that kind of gave Jericho this image of being able to recreate himself, go like recreate himself and like, you know, reinvent himself, adapt with the times was like going away. Because Jericho would go away and then he would come back as like a new version of himself, like, you know, yeah. with a new gimmick. And it would be cool. That I was wanna... one of the best things about Jericho, honestly. It, one of the most intangibles, I guess you could say, things you can't teach. For sure. And... But, like, I think one of the issues recently has been dude hasn't gone away. He's yeah. been there. He's just been there on TV. And I think he's someone who could, like, do with, like, six months of off of being off TV. And then you have him return. 
and be like, you know, do whatever, right? Because he's Chris Jericho. He's going to find something to do and it's going to matter. But I, I think like yeah. with, with Jericho, it's like one of those things like you have like a lot of like the, the, the baggage that he has already combined with the um, combined with like the fact that people are kind of just like sick of seeing him on their screens because they know it's not really leading to anything meaningful, you know? And I think that's what it is. It just hasn't led to anything meaningful. And we haven't gotten a chance to like miss Chris Jericho. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. I think that's kind of where we were at with this. Sorry, I had to close my door. Y'all, it's... you're good, man. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. I just think like, you know, if he, if he didn't get re-signed, it probably wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, but I also think Tony's going to, do what he can to keep Jericho. Cause he, that's just one of his guys. I mean, like I said, like the man is the man will go anywhere and still be one of the most, the highest regarded talent on any roster. That's the truth. You can't knock what Jericho has done. You can't knock, knock what Jericho has done and accomplished in his career and what he brings to your locker room, regardless of whether he wrestles or not, that veteran presence will help. Any you know any new locker room whatever it, it's just the morale will help. Is he going to WWE? <laughs> Sorry, Marks, probably not. <laughs> uh, I don't think. But where is my Y two J? He has done everything he could possibly do in WWE and then some. <laughs> he doesn't need to go to WWE. WWE might want him. But he doesn't need WWE. Yeah, Chris Jericho coming in. I love double, double E. <laughs> <laughs> double, <laughs> double, double. <laughs> oh, I love double, double E. <laughs> Vladimir Kosa, very underrated gimmick. <laughs> if it was like 20 years earlier, Vladimir Kosa would have been the world champion. I, bu- I guarantee you, internet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um. But no, like I think I think Tony's gonna try to keep him because, like you said, he is his boy, and one that veteran presence couldn't hurt in a lot in his locker room. So I think he's gonna try try to keep him. I don't think he's gonna throw the same paycheck at him, but he's gonna try to keep. It'd him. be crazy if he went back to WWE though. That that would be that would be a. Story it wouldn't make any sense. I mean, look, <laughs> hey, hey man, the paycheck man, that's what it's all about. If you can get that, paycheck, oh, the paycheck would be stupid. <laughs> the paycheck would be crazy. TKO would be the like paycheck would make. It's about as much sense as him going back there. Yo, imagine Jericho <laughs> being like, I gotta work for Hunter. <laughs> Never worked for Hunter before. I gotta work for Hunter. Um he was like at for real this time. <laughs> He's like, uh Jericho, we're gonna get we're gonna bring you in and uh get you back for that podcast you did with Stone Cold that we let you do. I can't I still that is one of the wildest things ever. The fact that like Jericho was basically allowed to do like a two hour long infomercial for AEW on yep. Peacock, <laughs> like is still one of the craziest yeah, things that happened in the um, pandemic. On the uh, sto- uh, broken skull, Joe, right? <laughs> yeah, that it, because like it was like right half that thing. He was just like talking about AEW, and Jericho knew what he was doing. He's like, you know, I was the first AEW World Champion. Like, he was just slipping in AEW. Yeah, it just went off. <laughs> is, that, is that still on Peacock? I don't. They took it off. Oh, it's they? on Peacock. It's still. On, I, I check every now and then just to make sure it's still there. That's hilarious. The wild thing is that happened while Vince was still in charge. <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, that I remember. Yeah, Vince, was... he was mad about it. Then he got mad about it. Well, you missed. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even like edit out the AEW stuff. No, you I, until like maybe. A year after that was because it's been out for two years now, right? Two after a year, two three years, was, something like that. It was during yeah, the, yeah. like it was like it, it came out like either like early twenty twenty one, late twenty twenty, something like that. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. like I watched it like a year after that, and I was like, "He's still talking about AEW." They didn't because like if you look at now, if you look at certain things with with the old WWF, a lot of them they especially on the caption it'll say WWE. Like they'll may they may verbally say WWF, but the caption will say WWE. Hey man, one thing you know is Tony Khan's not gonna like. He's not gonna. He, there's no cease and desist that's gonna be sent. He's like, look, keep it up, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Keep on talking about AEW. I was curious. Remember, uh, Sami Zayn? Like he got in trouble for uh, mentioning AEW on uh on on run. It's like you could ask me anything. You could ask me about AEW. Shout out to, to Sammy Sane, bro. Yeah, 